Hello everyone, I'm gonna show you how to make a bootable USB stick uh, with Foresight Linux so you can install it from a USB stick instead of using CDs or DVDs. So let's start with fun uh, to get a USB stick at least 4 gigabyte or higher. Uh, put it into your computer. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna show you how to make everything from the beginning. So I'm gonna start with uh, cleaning it out. And it time out it first. Then I can use format drive. Then we will be totally clean. It's free. Create a partition. Choose NTFS. I usually delete the name of it. Don't need a name of, of the stick. Now it's done, but it's not mounted. I can already see uh, it's been uh, the pad twist, the SDB one there. Mount it. And then you need to download Foresight Linux. That you do from Source Forge. Uh, FL2 QA, that's the stable one, and this is the development uh, uh, ISO file. So let's go with the development, development file, because I already downloaded it. Um, if you have many folders here, we always grab the latest one. As you see, it's this, 15th May. Uh, grabbing only the, the one calling group GNOME Dist because the one with devil in it uh, has development uh, files the application in it and it's a lot bigger and I don't really don't need it. So let's go with this one. Then you only download this one. And when it's done, uh, then we need to install something called Blast bits. You want to type sudo conary install blast bits and enter and install it. Uh, when it's done, then you have blast bits installed. Uh, I already have it, so I can show you. As you see, blast bits is uh, already in my system. Uh, then we need to go to that folder where the ISO file is. So it's in my download folder. And then we need to find out uh, what path uh, this USB stick have. Then you only type DF like that. And you see it's dev sdb1 to uh, Create this USB stick now. You type sudo blast image. Then you type the name of the ISO file. There we go. Then the path to the USB stick. Dev SDB. Uh, you leave out the number of it so you never type in SDB1, uh, only SDB. So never type in the last digit of, uh, of the path. As you see now, sudo blast image, foresight the, and the ISO file, dev sdb. Then enter. Asking for password. Uh, yes. You must type in yes. I'm used to only type e. Uh, this will take a while and I already done it a uh, few minutes earlier and was no issues at all. So what will happen now, it's, we will take this ESO file and start to install it on the USB stick. And you wait till uh, terminal is done and you see it's uh, not working at all. Then you know it's done. 
and also look at the USB stick so it's not uh, have any lights flashing or something at the uh, so you really see that it's done sometimes uh, it can still be type into the USB stick uh, even if terminal shows it's already done so wait until you see the USB stick is not uh, flashing any lights at all so you see it's done uh, when it's done you only reboot your computer and you probably need to uh, change the boot menu so you need to go into BIOS or something and sh uh, pick uh, that it uh, should be a start from USB stick before starting the hard drive or the DVD ROM or something similar. So this is how it's done. So when this is done I have a USB stick with Foresight Linux on and can install it on every laptop or computer that supports to be able to boot from a USB stick. And of course it will be like normal uh, installation will start and I will be able to install Foresight Linux. That's how easy it is. So thank you all for watching.